Hey, good people out there on YouTube. Welcome back to Tech of Tomorrow. We bring you all the tech all the time. Now, check this out. When we were at CES, we got a full demo by Gabe Rushan of Swift Tech, where he told us all the cool things about their new H220 all-in-one liquid cooler. Now, one of the few things about this thing that makes it stand out from others is this is an all-in-one plus a custom all-in-one as well. It's bridging the gap between closed loop and non-closed loop, which means this thing comes closed loop. You can keep it running for three years with the liquids in it, or you can take the thing apart and change it around and build your own custom design. Now, one of the great things about this I want to talk about right off the bat is that this thing was really designed to be inaudible. It was designed to be completely quiet and still bring you great cooling. Can you turn up the fan and crank it up and make it louder and get a little bit better results? Yes, you can. We'll talk about that in the outro. But for now, check it out. I've got the retail box right here. Now, for you folks out there who've been asking me vehemently, when is this going to be available? Well, I have it confirmed. On March 3rd, these things will be hitting Swift Tech in Long Beach, California, and then out to the places to buy them so very very soon so with that said let's jump in let's check out the retail box and let's talk about this product let's go all right folks so like every good unboxing and everything we're going to start off by looking at the box right here we can see swift tech has a three-year warranty we can see the dual 120 millimeter helix fans right there the nice black tubing you can see once again it says in the box designed to low to inaudible operating noise which means made to be really really quiet now another thing is that people think that liquid cooling is very very hard to do it's not hard to do at all in fact with these closed loop systems it's easier than even using air cooling unless you're talking about those little pop-in intel things so here's the front of the box you can see it's compatible with everything by intel everything by amd all in the box ready to rock and roll gonna flip it around here to the side where here we have some of the important aspects of this so number one Truly low to comfortable audible noise levels. 2 by 120 millimeter Helix PWM fans rated at 16 to 33 dBA each. 2. Substantially better thermal performance than high-end air coolers and or competing all-in-one liquid cooling systems. Dual 120 millimeter copper fin and brass tubes radiator. High hydraulic power PWM adjustable pump. State-of-the-art micro pin copper cold plate large diameter flexible tubing for optimal flow rate it means everything's going to flow there nice and easy because it's a nice big diameter plug and pay configurations out of the box factory pre-filled and pre-configured for easy installation that will get you up and running in minutes and that is actually very very true we're going to be talking about that later too fully expandable system for add-on components unlike other pre-filled systems that are sealed for life our radiator features a fill port that lets you add coolant and or tubing can be easily replaced either to change its length and or add components for example they have a little graph here it's probably going to be hard to see our pump is also powerful enough to drive several additional water blocks without suffering noticeable performance loss which means you can do two radiators other parts all off the one pump good stuff so you can easily expand your system to a full liquid cooled system loop including water blocks for graphics chipsets or mosfets with minimum effort or knowledge number five minimum maintenance if you use your lcs strictly as shipped we recommend that you check the fluid level approximately every three years that means if you take this thing out of the box stick it on your computer for three years nothing to worry about total control of your system performance and noise levels using the built-in bios temperature controller all you need to plug is your lcs to the motherboard cpu fan connector and either lets the motherboard manage the speed automatically or you can fine tune it to the level that you feel comfortable with basically there's a part in here that you can cook up all the fans to connect it to your motherboard and then control everything from the bios so that's pretty much all the good stuff on the back it shows the dimensions i'll flip this around over on the Swift Tech website, you'll see that this thing will fit just about every case out there. There are a few out there that doesn't fit, but many of the larger cases will definitely accommodate this very easily. So now let's go ahead and let's get it out of the box and take a look what comes in the retail package. So right here in the front, pop that open. Little thing here on top. I'm go ahead and remove that. Quabam, quabam. You can see the unit inside the box. 
the tubing and everything. So we shall go ahead and just take this out. The whole thing easily comes out. So I'm gonna take all this stuff out and then remove the box out of the picture, hand it off to the cameraman, and then let's check it out. So you can see basically everything's in this big thing here on my right hand, but let's talk about some of the other stuff. So retail box, the user's manual. This is gonna tell you how to install it, how to work it, how to take it apart, how to expand it, how to do whatever your little heart desires. There are great instructions in here, by the way. The people at Swift Tech have taken a lot of time to make sure that everything is very correctly written out for you. So when you look at it, you're like, what the hell am I doing? You're like, oh, okay, that makes sense, which it should, and it does. Next thing up, here's all the other additional stuff. Now this right here is the PWM controller I was talking about for you folks. Let's go ahead and take this out of here. Now you have the one that goes to your motherboard, to your power. Be very careful when you plug this in. Some people have just shoved stuff in there and you can bend the pins and it won't work correctly. Then you have all your fans connect to this and then you can actually control all those fans directly through the motherboard BIOS. Next up, all the screws, more screws, additional mounting stuff is in here. Let me pull this thing out of here. Got lots of stuff that's in here. Go ahead and open this up. Here we go. These are additional mounting hardware. The screws, the washers, all that kind of stuff. That's all the accessory stuff. So we'll get that out of the way. Move that out of the way. Nothing else in there. Okay, now let's move on. So right off the bat, Go ahead and pull this off of here. Kaboom. Here is the pump. You can see it looks very cool, very swivelable. These swivel very easily for you. So basically folks, it would be like this. Let me just show you guys this. So basically this would plug into this. You guys are going to know you, you're going to say I shake. I know I do. I have advanced diabetes. I'm sorry, but sometimes I shake. So this is going to plug into this. All of these are going to plug into your system. And then this will plug into your motherboard. So all your system fans, your unit, and then into the motherboard. Set that aside. Underneath, you guys can see the copper block. One of the mounting hardware is already mounted on here. black tubes. Let me go ahead and take the radiator out of here. Now, a lot of these kits that you get, the fans aren't mounted, but here the fans are mounted, the cables all around here. Let me get my hand out of the way there. Here are the PW connectors right here. You can see the dual helix fans here, 120 millimeter. Here's the rad. Whoops, trying to throw anything off there. So here's the rad. So you basically get the whole unit, all the instruction guide, all the mounting hardware, everything that a growing boy needs to water cool his CPU. All right, folks. So there it is. Everything that comes in the retail package of the new SwiftTech H220. Now, like I said, this thing's $139. That's very reasonable considering the performance that you're going to get. Now, a lot of people out there are gonna go, oh, wow, well, how does it work? I'm gonna tell you right now. The SwiftTech H220 in test, you guys can go out and look all over the internet because there's reviews all over the place. I'll put some in the link in the description below. But basically, the only thing that's beating this is the new Kraken. Now, the new Kraken also has its fans turned up to really, really loud, so it sounds like a jet plane, and it's much bigger, limiting how many systems it can go in. Now, the Swift Tech product is beating all the others. If you don't believe me, go check it online. This isn't me saying it. It's the other reviewers out there on the web. They're saying it. So that's pretty much it. This thing, when it comes, like I said, is geared to be very, very quiet. So when you pull out of the box and you hook it up, you're barely going to be able to hear it. Now, if you want to turn the fan up to get better performance, though, you can, but you'll be sacrificing a little bit of the noise level. Now, another big myth. Water cooling is hard to do total myth. I'm not even joking. I know you're going to get some crazy comments below, but trust me, 
There are a lot of things out there. Silver Arrow is one of them. Try installing the Silver Arrow and then come back and try to install the SwiftTech H220. You'll be bald after you try to do that one. And this one, you'll have your full head of hair still. It's very, very simple. You just pop it on the back plate, screw the four screws in, and that's all there is to the mounting. Nothing else. Now, obviously, you're going to have to mount it inside of your case and all that stuff. Now, for you people out there, there's a website out there called Martin's Liquid Labs. I want to give that guy a shout out. He does a really, really excellent job. And he has a video up showing how to install the new SwiftTech H220 very simply and easily. So I'm going to have the link to that in the description below as well. So you guys can go over and check it out where he shows you actually how to install this. If you guys want more information, also, before I get my reviews up, go out and look around the web and see what people have to say about the SwiftTech H220. It's very simple to use, very quiet under normal circumstances. You want to overclock and turn it up, you've got some performance ratios, you can go there. But generally, you're only going to get a few degrees, you know, above ambient temperature in your house. That's just how it is. It's not like you're gonna put a water cooler on, you know, and your house is 75 degrees and you're gonna have your cooler running at 65 degrees. It's not gonna happen. If it's 75 degrees in your house, you're gonna be lucky if you get your computer running at 79, 80 degrees. That's just how it is. So if you guys wanna check things out, look at the link in the description below. Go check out Martin's Liquid Labs, where he shows you guys how to install this thing very, very simply, where anybody can go, hey, I understand that. Like usual, I hope you guys like this video. If so, hit that like button and show me some love. And if you're not subscribed, please do so so you don't miss out on all the cool shit here on Tech of Tomorrow. See you later.